Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Right. Um, I've come up with this pattern. I really like it. I mean, if the thing is, it may look similar because it's... There is, um, is it the primrose stitch? Or it's a bit similar to a uh, drunken granny, I guess. But we're not doing a granny, we're doing a cluster double crochet cluster together and we're actually starting the bottom chain in a, an unusual way because what I wanted to create was a pattern where you don't really need a border by having this you've got this little wiggle on the side and then it finishes off but I wanted to start in that way as well so some people do like to make blankets which don't actually have any borders and this is a really sweet pattern so I've made this in a DK yarn, lightweight yarn number three, and a four millimeter crochet hook. You could of course try this with any other yarn and corresponding hook, um, number four with a five maybe, uh, and it's created a, a, a nice pattern. And um, it's also, the spacing is just right, it's not too big. So I'm going to show you how to make this. It's very easy to do. I've got some uh, lovely, what's it called, butter kiss yellow here. and. Uh, I'll just do a small sample. Now the other thing is there is no chain count for this when you start off initially because you're creating this, you're working into the chain in this way and I'll show you how, how we're doing that. Um, but yeah, just make it long as you, as you need to really for your project and then just work up. So do your slip knot however you do your slip knot. It does consist of double crochets and uh, clusters double crochet clusters as well so if you're not familiar with those please go and have a look at the double crochets and come back I will go as slow as I can but if I'm still too fast please do slow me down in playback options I think it's the little cog if you are on um, I think it's, it's on your app or on the YouTube um, app uh, or, or on the desktop and um, you can have subtitles on as well so to create this where's it gone this bit here it's a completely different way of starting so let me show you chain five okay and what you want to do is do a double crochet but not a double crochet sort of like an extended double crochet into the fourth chain so you don't count that one one two three four you should have one left because we chained five so go into the fourth one pull up a loop Pull through the first one, pull through two, and pull through two. And what you get is this little shape. Chain five again. And you want to do the same again, but we're placing it here. Can you see these two verticals here? You want to go into there, pull up the loop, pull through the one, pull through the two, and then pull through the two again. Chain five, go here again, pull through the loop, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. I think I've, do you bear with me, I think I've chained an extra chain on this one, doesn't look right. This should be five, two, three, four, and five. That's right. Yes, that is right. Let me just bear with me. Just trying to think, did I chain five or did I chain four? No, that's fine. It looks a bit different because we worked in the fourth chain here, but we're working into the thing, so that's why the, the loop's gone a bit lower. That's fine, that's normal. Chain five. And go into these two here. Pull up a loop, pull through one pull through two and pull through two. Chain five, go into here again, pull up one loop, pull through the one, pull through two of them and pull through two of them. I'll do one more. One, two, three, four, five. You can of course carry on to the length, uh, the width that you need. So yarn over going to those two 
that you can see here. Pull up the loop, pull through the one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So this is what's going to create on the bottom and we are basically filling these in. Okay, so to start the pattern, chain three and go into this loop and do a single crochet. Then chain three and then do a three double crochet cluster together. And to do that, yarn over, go in, pull up a loop, pull through two, hold it there. Yarn over, go in again, pull up a loop, pull through two and you've got three loops and then yarn over again pull up a loop and pull through two you'll have four loops pull through all four chain one okay go to the next section right into there and do a single crochet see it, fill, it fills up the space and then when we work it's going to look just right chain three after your single crochet and three double crochet cluster together that's one, two, and three. Four loops, pull through all four, chain one. Into the next little shape that we've made here and chain one. Now can you see? It goes like this from the bottom, which I think is really pretty. Chain three and do three double crochets together is a cluster, four loops, pull through all four and chain one. After you've chained one go to the next section and do a single crochet then chain three and do your next cluster and you will do this all the way to the width of your um, chain that you've made got the four loops, pull through all four, chain one. I have one more here. Oops, I need to do a single crochet, forgot about that. Then chain one, uh, chain three, and do your three double crochet clusters together. Two and three. Pull through all four loops, chain one. You'll be left with one stitch here. And all you need to do is go to the very last chain and do a single crochet. You see, there's not much in it for the first one. So this is this is uh, row one, and every other row from now on will be exactly the same. So chain three, flip your work, and then go into that chain three space and do a single crochet then chain three and do your cluster in that same space. One, two and three. Four loops, pull through all four, chain one. And move to the next section here. Single crochet and chain three. Then go into here and do your cluster. One, two and three. Pull through all four loops, chain one. Next section here, go in and do a single crochet. Chain three, and then do your cluster in that same space. Three double crochets together, I will refer to as cluster. Chain one, always chain one, move into the next section here and do your single crochet. Chain three and your three double crochets together, which is your cluster. Chain one, we're here now. Single crochet, chain three, and your very final three double crochets together. Pull through all four loops, chain one. And when you get to here, Just go into that top chain there and do a, sing a single crochet. Okay. Now the other good thing about this pattern, it's both sided. See how pretty it looks. And every row is exactly the same. Chain three, flip your work, 
go into that first space here in here and do a single crochet chain three and then do your cluster and it's a lovely one row repeat pattern and it creates a lovely design these are going that way, that's going that way, that's going that way. Chain three and your cluster. Always chain one after your cluster before you move into the next space and do your single crochet. And that's all there is to this and I just love like I said I love the fact that you don't have to um, put a board, think of a border on this one because your your bottom is going to be like so and you're going to finish like that as well so there's no need for straightening off and not only that it looks pretty as it is chain one and then when you get to the end of the row you'll have that chain three that you always do just go into the top of the chain three and do a single crochet oh the sun is blazing into the room hope you can see how pretty is that do one more row with you chain three every row and flip your work go straight into that space that's what creates this little on the side as well single crochet and chain three and do your cluster in the same space basically you're not completing the double crochets you're only pulling through the first two loops and you're left with four loops then and then chain one go into the next space and single crochet chain three and do your cluster Pull through all four loops, chain one, go into the next space here. Chain one, move to the next section, single crochet and chain three, and then do your cluster all in the same space same chain three space and here's our last one here so we will go into there do our single crochet chain three and our very final cluster pull through all four chain one find your chain three and go into the top of that chain three and do a single crochet And this is how you will carry on with your pattern. Exactly the same, one row. Both sided and no need for border. It's going to look really pretty. You can just imagine this in a massive blanket. It's not a yarn eater as such because what we're doing is we've got these spaces and we're filling them with a cluster. So. If it was another stitch, you know, it probably would still take the same amount of stitch. Uh, sorry, yarn. So that's the pattern. Hope you like my little pattern here. If you really are fussy, what you could do is, I mean, I don't know. Let me try this actually while you're here. Chain one. One, two, three, four, five. Will that work? And slip stitch into the space so we can have a chain this side at the top as well as the bottom hmm I'm not sure have a little experiment one two three four and five and then just get into the space I guess ah you could do if you want a single crochet running ar around the top like it does at the bottom here yeah, just chain five and single crochet, chain five and single crochet all the way across. But if, you, if you're if you not, 
I say chain five because that's what we did at the bottom. So yeah, that could work. You've got your chain five here and you've got your chain five here. The only thing is that we're working here, you'll, you'll have a little bit of a gap, but not a massive one. That's if you want to. I didn't actually on mine. I've just left mine like so. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Please do subscribe, like and share and um, send this to anyone who you think would like to make this. Um, I just want to say before I, uh, I go, um, I've had lots and lots and lots of wonderful comments of um, ladies asking questions and really, uh, really appreciating what I, uh, what I do. Um, I have had a couple of comments which I've had to remove, um, but I mean, I guess it's part of the YouTube process. It's all right. I've, ju I've just not come across it before. So they're a bit not very mean. So I've just deleted them and um, they weren't abusive as such, but they were just not very nice comments. So I've deleted them. So uh i just personally think that if you don't like what you see or if you think what you see is absolutely rubbish then there's no need to comment i suggest to those people to then go and set up a youtube channel and spend your time making patterns for free um to help others to learn that's what i suggest but um i'm not that type of person but anyway comments have been removed and all you lovely, lovely people out there, thank you so much for your support. We do get the odd one, don't we? Right, take care and I'll see you soon.